When Erica Thomas was born with complex heart disease, her parents and doctors weren't sure she would survive past childhood. I um, saw doctors very frequently, had several uh, major surgeries um, to do some correction on my heart. Those surgeries have become so effective over the last 20 years that nearly two and a half million patients born with heart defects are alive today. We now have a new population of adults with congenital heart disease. In fact, just since 2000, the number of adults with congenital heart disease has shot up 63%. And increasingly, those who overcame heart defects as babies are wanting babies of their own. The good news is that uh, pregnant women who who have complex congenital heart disease, uh, most of these women uh, can successfully become mothers. That's the position of the American Heart Association according to newly published recommendations. Mary Canovio is a nurse at Ronald Reagan UCLA Medical Center and lecturer at the UCLA School of Nursing who chaired the recommendations panel. She says this represents a major shift in allowing women with heart defects to have babies. But we do it very carefully. We outline that it, it has to be, there has to be a delivery plan in place. It, every step of the way is guided. It's not just serendipitous. The recommendations call for extensive testing and counseling before pregnancy and for specialists to work as teams through delivery, like cardiologists, high-risk obstetricians, and surgeons. It was that approach that allowed Erica to have two successful pregnancies and now serves as the blueprint for a growing number of others to do the same. For those of us who maybe were told we couldn't get pregnant and now there's hope of that, to me that's exciting. At Ronald Reagan UCLA Medical Center, this is Clark Powell reporting.